Holy moly, you guys, we're here in Montpelier, Idaho. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. We are at a hotel. Look at the tarps, you guys. We just got pounded with a massive hailstorm. So I'm gonna get you up to date to right now on why we are here in Montpelier in a hotel, massive storm coming in and we spent day one and day two in the rain and the mud. Maybe you saw the live, maybe you saw some of the Instagram, but it was a nightmare. So anyway, check out the video. I'm gonna catch you up to where we're at right now. First, uh, I think this will be day one, two, and most of day three. So thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry, you guys. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Let's ride.
guys, it's on. We're going. you guys highest point on the skyline drive 10 8 10 9 almost 10,900 feet above sea level and we're in the clouds Woo! it's pretty what we can see of it
All right, you guys, we made it. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots more mud. We ended up hooking up the little squirter. Check that out. Hooked that hose up. Squirted off the zipper for the awning. Got the awning out. And uh, the AK-40 kitchen did not fare so well in all that mud and water. So we're going to have to make some improvements there. <laughs> ah. Anyway, you guys. We have some food cooking for the night. Bo and Jennifer got some good stuff cooking up. Oh. Try to. Nice. Strawberry Reservoir Memorial Weekend or Labor Day weekend. Holy smokes, there's a little busy, a but <laughs> next uh Tuesday, it'll, everything will clear out and it'll be nice. Yeah, the whole, well, the whole forest to ourselves. There's a lot of people here right now. Whew. Hey guys, we're on our way. Day two. We had to stop at the Strawberry Visitor Center. But we are muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. But look how pretty that is. And the lake right down there i don't know if you guys can see it or not but anyway trust me the lake's down there so we figure i'm around 120 130 miles to evanston wyoming today from strawberry reservoir and looking at the weather you guys i don't know if it's that great or not but it's not raining right now it rained last night but we'll keep you posted Thank you for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Alright, so we're leaving Strawberry Reservoir. Headed up over the Uintas. Our max height today is going to be about 10,700 feet above sea level. And we're en route to Evanston, Wyoming. But check this out. Yeah!
civilization. There's camps everywhere. But it's really pretty. And I like the way they've managed this forest. You can tell that it hasn't been overgrown. It looks like it burned some time ago, but they probably do a lot of logging up here. And you can see a lot of the piles over here. They've cleaned up and burned and taken care of a lot of the fuels. Kudos to the UN National Forest. It's beautiful. All right, you guys, check it out. We got some blue skies and some sunshine. Woo, the day is looking up. Can't plan on it for too long, though. Monday, Tuesday is supposed to be pretty rough. But we'll see. However, look at that. Welcome to day three. What is this? The Glacier Glacier National Park Overland Trip. I don't know. I need a shorter name for it. Anyway, we got to this spot late last night. If you guys saw my live going down the freeway, not the freeway, the highway, uh, we spent a little bit too much time in Evanston. Uh, we ended up having to do laundry from all the mud. <laughs> And we also had to do a quick little car repair. And so anyway, we just had to adjust the adjust the suspension on one of the cars. So nothing serious, just took a little bit of extra time. So instead of hitting the trail uh, at 7.30 or 8 o'clock, we ended up busting down the road on the highway. Getting to the trail, we kind of skipped, we kind of skipped the off-road part of the trail. Got to this point, we didn't get here till 9.30 last night. Uh, it was good, it was all right. We pulled in here, got everything set up, made a sandwich, went to bed. No, actually, you guys check this out. I was just telling one of the guys, I used, I used about two, two and a half gallons of water with the shower last night, and it was nice and warm. And it's kind of funny when Two gallons gives you a nice shower and feels good, right? <laughs> but it did. So here's the setup for last night. This is this was the deal here. We just barely pulled in here in the dark. We saw a little flat spot on the map and thought, oh, let's grab it. So anyway, everything is uh, all set up. We're just kind of taking a chill. Just kind of having a chill Sunday morning. And... Uh, having some caffeine so anyway yeah you guys check it out everything got cleaned up <laughs> I will I, I, I won't tell you guys how much I ended up spending on the car wash but it was a lot it was a lot a lot so everything's clean though mostly and that's good. So anyway, you guys, we are going to just kind of take a lazy day around camp this morning before we get on the road and pack stuff up. And uh, yeah, we'll get back with you when we're on the trail. This is Abs Basin. Abs Basin. We came last night about 50 miles outside of Evanston, kind of to the west of Evanston. We ran into a locked gate, had to adjust our route a little bit, but uh, we're good to go now. So we're, right now we're headed to Bear Lake and then on to Montpelier, Idaho. So day three, Let's go! 
welcome to Bear Lake. We're in Idaho. It's kind of crazy. How about the way the roads changed when you hit Idaho? Right? <laughs> that was kind of... The, the road was nice and smooth, and it was... It was... Right at the line. It was painted, everything, and as soon as you cross the line to Idaho, potholes and... You needed almost four-wheel drive. It, yeah, it was, it was rough. But anyway, you guys, welcome to Bear Lake. We're on the Idaho side now, so check it out. Trip's going good. Yeah. Machines are all doing awesome. I know there was a lot of guys on some of the Facebook pages that thought we'd be going through belts like crazy. Knock on wood, not yet. Check it out, you guys. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Look at this. How did we get to this point? We're in Montpelier, Idaho with tarps on everything. Day one, day two, and uh, part of day three, everything's good except for the weather. We got a massive storm blowing in tonight. Uh, so we're in a hotel, Montpelier, Idaho, and we're going to wait this storm out for a little bit. So anyway, you guys, this is how we got here. This is the first section of the video. Thanks for watching Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and let's ride.